Genius 3 have just announced that Foster Startup for iOS V is now supported. I'm recording this at the beginning of April 2017 and Julian has posted a message on the Genius 3 community stating that iOS V can boot a lot quicker than in the past. Now I think all of us in the community can thank Bernhard for the excellent work that he's done to save us all a lot of time. He's done a lot of work injecting a startup config in iOS V and helping speed up iOS V booting. These enhancements have now been rolled into the Genius 3 Marketplace. So if you go to Marketplace Appliances and search for iOS V, the iOS V appliance now includes these enhancements. So what I'm going to do now is download the new template to my local computer. In this example, I'm using Genius 3 2.0 on a Mac. So what I'll do is import the appliance. I've renamed this appliance Cisco iOS V Fast dot Genius 3 appliance. And that's only because I have other iOS V appliances downloaded. I'm going to click open. Now we're told that the appliance will be available in the router category. Product is iOS V. It's maintained by the Genius 3 team. KVM is required. In other words, you need nested virtualization, which means you need to run a VMware product rather than VirtualBox. It's recommended that the appliance be run on the Genius 3 VM. I'm going to do that and click Next. I'm told that my server requirements are OK. Click Next. Now notice this is different to previous releases of iOS V. Not only do we need the operating system, but we also need to download the startup config image. So in my example, the operating system has been found, but the startup config image is missing. So I'll click that and click download. I'm automatically taken to sourceforge.net and the image is downloaded to my local computer. So what I'll do now is click refresh. And as you can see, both files are now found and the iOS V is ready to be installed. Click Next. We asked, do we want to install iOS V? And the answer is yes. QMU settings are displayed. I'm going to stick with the defaults and click Next. A summary of the appliance is now shown. It consists of four adapters. We're going to access it through Telnet. Click Next. We're told that there's no default password. Now this piece of information hasn't been updated. There is now a default configuration. So that's incorrect. Click Finish. Now in my example, I'm told that this appliance is already in use. So what I'm going to do is rename it. Put the word FOST in it and click OK. The appliance is now installed. So notice I now have the new appliance that I imported, as well as an older appliance. Now you probably want to delete the older appliance from GNS3 first before you import the new appliance. But I'm going to run both here just to demonstrate the difference in speed of boot up of the two iOS V appliances. So I have the old one or the original one and the new FOST iOS V appliance. Now to help us see the difference between the boot up process, I'm using a stopwatch available on Google. So I'll click Start and click Start in Genius 3 to start up the routers. And then I'll open up a console to the routers. Now the old router is still saying booting iOS V and the new one is already showing the licensing. And that's at about 26 seconds. So I'll move this up so we can see the timer. Now a lot of the speed of the boot process depends on the hardware that you're using. But in my example, 
notice it's already building the configuration at 50 seconds, whereas the older version is still saying booting iOS V. Okay, so it took under a minute for this router to boot. Your experience once again may be different. So I'm already able to look at the running config and make changes on this router. And we're still waiting for the older iOS V image to boot up. What I'll do now is speed up the video so that you don't have to wait for this router to boot up. But it's now gone past two minutes. Remember the first router booted up under a minute. And there you go, so about two minutes, 10 seconds using my non-scientific timer. I now need to bypass the system configuration dialog, which is taking even more time. So at this point, we've gone over two and a half minutes, whereas the first router booted up under a minute. So in this unscientific experiment, it booted up in less than half the time. Now notice some of the differences. Show run. If I scroll down to the line console, notice there's no default config on the line console. On the router that booted up quickly, show run shows us that there is a default configuration on the line console. So we have, for example, exact timeout 00, zero privilege level is 15, and logging synchronous is enabled. So as an example, if I exit out of the router and press enter, I'm immediately in privilege mode, whereas on this router, I'm in user mode, and then I have to type enable to go to privilege mode. Notice the differences as well. If I press Control Z and then show IP interface brief, text is retyped. So do that again, show IP interface brief. Notice the text was retyped there. Whereas on this router, Control Z or Control Z, show IP interface brief. Text is going off the window here have to press tab to see the text that I typed. So show run, pipe begin, console zero. Whereas here, we have some commands to optimize the configuration of the router. Another big one is that domain a lookup is disabled. So no IP domain lookup is disabled. So if you type something wrong by mistake here, it's not gonna try and resolve to a DNS server, whereas here, it will do that. Notice the difference in the output here versus here. Now, it didn't take a long time because we don't have any IP addresses configured on this router, but if you did, you may end up waiting quite a long time before you can continue working on the router. So again, this router has no default configuration, takes a long time to boot up. This new router does have a default configuration applied and takes less than half the time to boot up in my little test here. Thanks to Bernard, we don't have to wait as long for an iOS V router to boot up. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.